Coming up tonight on KHQ Local News 11 at 11, measles in Spokane. What you need to know about the new case. This is KHQ Local News 11 at 11. In a health alert tonight, Spokane Regional Health District has confirmed a case of measles in Spokane. Officials are working to figure out how the individual was exposed. What we do know so far is that the person was not vaccinated. We also know that this case is not related to the national outbreak that was linked to Disneyland. This is the first case of measles in Spokane since 1994. Now we do know that person was a few different places before they were diagnosed with the measles. Take a look at some of these places that they went to over the past few days before that. On Sunday, April 12th, the individual was at the Qdoba up on the South Hill. The next day, the North Racket Park and Athletic Club. And then two days later, on Wednesday the 15th, they went to Franklin Park Urgent Care. Finally, on Friday the 17th of April, they went to Providence Hospital Emergency Department. You are warned that if you were at these places on these days and aren't vaccinated against measles, you might become sick. Jolene Freethane, who works at the Franklin Park Urgent Care, was there when the patient was admitted. She says that measles is tough to find because it presents like other illnesses. And the fact that it's been at the end of the flu season, you're seeing people with viral illnesses like the flu. It looks the same until they break out. Well, measles symptoms begin 7 to 21 days after exposure. And if you were at these locations on these days, you could start showing symptoms anywhere between April 18th and May 10th. And in-depth coverage now, as we mentioned, this case is not at all tied to the outbreak that started in Disneyland. That outbreak was announced to be over just days ago. 147 people were infected with the vast majority in California, and there were no deaths in, the, in that outbreak. Many of those infected had not been vaccinated for various reasons. Some patients were too young. Now, doctors say the measles vaccine is more than 97% effective in preventing the highly contagious illness. And if your children still need to be vaccinated, there's another clinic scheduled for May 7th at Deer Park Elementary from 4 o'clock to 6 in the evening. And as for adults, adults should receive at least one dose of measles vaccine unless they were previously immunized, were born prior to 1957, or were previously diagnosed with measles by a doctor or have other medical con constraints now for the vaccine. Adults who are unsure whether they receive the vaccine can still get one since there's no harm in getting it a second time, but pregnant women should wait until after giving birth to get vaccinated. And we know a lot of people are going to have questions on measles, so what you can do to protect yourselves, chances of getting infected. That's why tomorrow we're going to be having experts answering all of your questions on that topic. Tomorrow morning during the 5 and 6 hour, we'll have an expert from Spokane Regional Health District responding to your questions. And also tomorrow evening during KHQ Local News at 5 and 6, we'll have a panel of people taking calls for a special measles connect center. And of course, tune in tomorrow during those times to get your questions answered. And right now on KHQ.com, we have a special section dedicated to your questions about measles, what parents need to know, how to check your vaccination records, a measles outbreak map, plus all of the locations that the patient visited before they were diagnosed. To access that special section, just head to our homepage, KHQ.com, and it is under the Home tab.